How is it going there, my lovely listeners? It is your host here, the most electrifying host on social media. That is right, my listeners. It is Team Right Right Here. Listeners, how you doing on this Thursday's edition? I am doing super. I just finished help my dad in the backyard. Get rid of that, get rid of that garbage and sweeping, and all that other stuff. So it's good to help out the family members. But anyway, let's get this show in the road. And I'm gonna do do my introduction first. So here goes nothing. I'm gonna discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of interesting topics to discuss for you. So sit back, relax. Put your feet up, grab something, grab some of the drink. Now, if you don't want to do nothing like that, maybe you just want to chill like a villain and listen to my thoughts on a certain matter. And don't worry, there will be an article down below in the description box. Hopefully, you guys can figure out how to read the article. I mean, how to find the article down below. So, let's begin here, shall we? Now... Probably you're wondering where in the hell has 205 Live been on Raw, the flagship. Well, if you must know, WWE has stopped 205 Live superstars on their flagship show, Monday Night Raw. PWInsider.com is reporting that the reason due to the sports entertainment company struggling to trying to challenge blah 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 of their cruiserweight division don't judge me because i just said blah 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 blah. and from my point of view i am glad they pulled the plug from 205 on the flagship if they want to have 205 matches they should just only have it on 205 live on tuesday nights you know, I think that was a terrible decision to have the cruiserweights on freaking Raw. I don't know if you guys agree with this or not. What do you guys think about the article? Are you guys happy it is gone on Raw or not? Are you guys kind of disappointed? You know, the reason I want to avoid 205 Live because that roster, in my opinion, is not very good. You know, nothing like, oh wow, I have to tune in to 205 Live to watch this marquee matchup. Uh, no. You know, 205 Live, they try it, and it is, in my opinion, is a huge fail, okay? Um, they should just have the Cruiserweights just on SmackDown Live, in my point of view, and not to own freaking, um, channel, you know, or brand, or however you want to say this, but eventually, in my opinion, they're gonna probably gonna scrap it, and I don't know what they're gonna do with the Cruiserweights, you know? Uh, maybe they will ship them back to NXT, or they will find a different way to put them on the main show on Raw and SmackDown. So, it's sad that they're not on Raw anymore, but on the other hand, probably very happy, because Raw is three hours. And when the Cruiserweights from 205 was on Raw. It was like the opening segment to a match later on in the evening. It just dragged it out. And I'm glad they got rid of it. So, let me know your honest opinion about this article. Do you guys give a darn? Not give a darn? I just want to let you know what's going on in the wrestling today. Probably you know already because social media ruins it for everybody. So like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification, hit the like button, and leave a comment about the article. And no negative about why I have to say. I'm trying my best here. So this is the host here is going to sign off. Good. Have a good one.